So the E4R fans poll, everyone is loving Manu Tuolangi. I think he's way up in the 90% as, as being favourite for 12 this week. And you can understand why. He's the fans' favourite. He's a player's nightmare. And having played against him a few times, um, I've got a bit of experience about it. I thought I was doing pretty well for the first hour. My focus was to just get him on the floor or just get in the way. Get something in the way, get him on the ground. I did that for 60 minutes. Then I got a palm. Then I got the hip on the next one, and then I got the board from Jim Mallander, and that was me off. So, um, look, he was brilliant last week against Ireland, and, and you know you could see those Irish players thinking, just not again, not again. How do you stop him? He's got pace, he's got power, he can knock you over. He doesn't necessarily going to step and leave you for dead, um, but he's certainly threatening in his own right. Um, compare that with Ben Teo. I think I think a lot of coaches do like Ben Teo. Obviously, um, Gatlin liked him in the Lions. Eddie Jones, he's a clear favourite. And he did say that, that had he been fit, he would have started. So um, I think you see him as someone that, that really relishes those those challenges. You know, if Pickamol picked up from the base this weekend and Ben Teo was at, was at 12, you see his eyes light up and think, right, here we go. This is what I'm here for. Um, but that said, I think probably Manu would do that as well. <laughs> so, look, it's a good place for England to be. Um, and, and, and really, with Slade on the outside, I thought he clearly had a fantastic game. But actually now, everyone's talking about Manu or, or, or Ben Teo. No one's actually saying, well, well should Slade, Slade drop out? Maybe you could play the two together. That would be hellish. Um, so I wouldn't wish that on any, any of my worst enemies. But, but whatever, whatever they pick this weekend, no doubt it's going to be an exciting English midfield.